Might as well get it over and done with. I don't know what to say apart from potch out. It's a shambles. We look horrific, unorganised. We're relying on individual brilliance. Pochettino has tried a new tactic against the team, that are the worst team I've seen in the Premier League in 20 years. It's not worked. He played Conor Gallagher left wing. It's another missed profile and another player. And we just beat Man United 4-3. So you'd almost think that actually that might have worked, so why not do it again? No, he changed it to a system we've never seen him try before. In a game that actually mattered, even if it is against the worst team in the league, I think he just thinks we can win them. Um, And the same thing keeps happening. Can't you see the same pattern, Pochettino? It's time and time again that your delusional takes on football are costing my club, our club as Chelsea fans, a place in European football where we rightly belong as a club, but not on current form. Pochettino is getting it so, so wrong, game after game after game. Look, I wasn't confident in what I saw against Manchester United, but there was passion, there was, de- there was desire, there was fight, there was a hunger to win. Sheffield United showed more than that for their, themselves today than we did. And I actually believe they've got nothing to play for. It's horrific. I, I just don't understand what Pochettino felt like he'd get from today's game with that system. Sheffield United won more duels, more shots on goal. They had more big chances created. They had more shots inside the box, as well as more XG. Today was truly unacceptable from this Chelsea side, the players and the management team. We are against the worst team in Premier League history for the last 20 years, I'd say. And we have struggled to produce anything. They've lost to Brighton 5-0. They shipped six against Arsenal. We've gone up there and we couldn't even hold on to a 2-1 win. We've created barely anything. We relied on a bit of individual brilliance from Noni Madueke. Thiago Silva scored from a corner where Sheffield United looked fast asleep. And then what do we look like defensively to concede that last goal? It is all over the place. Bad as Chile, I don't know how he's putting on a Chelsea shirt at the moment. He is one of the worst defenders in the league by a long way. I'd probably say one of the worst in the country. He's awful. This isn't anywhere near the levels that he was at towards the end of last season. This is disastrous. We look so unbalanced today, everywhere on the pitch. Petrovic has been awful. We've shipped 17 goals, maybe more, in seven games. We are dishing out goals for fun. That's more than two a game, which is actually factually correct. I don't have any words anymore. You all know my feelings. Pochettino has to go. If you're new to the channel, can you just drop a like on the video and subscribe to help me out? And actually, maybe if we get 20, 30 likes, we might be able to get this video to somewhere that Todd Bowley starts hearing the message and go and do that on every Chelsea creator's video and content. Because as a fan base now, we need to make our voices heard. I'm not sure what sacking him does right now, but just get him out of the club and and then actually start again. I'd rather, look, the season's done. I'd rather get a winner in or just get someone in to try and change the direction of this club just so even if we have a small bit of hope against Manchester City, I'd take it. They'll, But what they'll do, they'll give him time because he got the Manchester United result. Any That wasn't even worth it. Any energy and any effort that went into getting that win against Manchester United has gone out the window today. Half the players are already walking down the tunnel. As the as literally as the final whistle goes, there's at there's fans out there today that have done a, are doing a six hour round trip, and they don't even get applauded. They, I hate everything about this Chelsea team right now. There's nothing likable about it. These aren't players I want at my club. They're full of egos. They only care about the big games. They only care about showing up in the moment in the in the games that are on TV. You know this game today. They know it's not on TV. They know. There's, the world isn't watching. It's awful. Noni Madueke, his ego stinks. I can't stand him. He nearly won us the game today. I should be happy about that. I can't stand him. I can't stand half the players. Casado, why on earth was he starting today? What on earth possessed Pochettino to think that was the right option? What possessed him to think Gallagher was better at left wing than in centre mid next to Enzo? It's diabolical decision making. 
Reem Sterling's got to be on his way out. Look, I'm not saying Reem Sterling's the be-all and end-all, but he must be looking at it going, I can't get in at left wing ahead of Conor Gallagher. What on earth? And look, it's not all Conor's fault today. He's been asked to play a role that is absolutely delusional. Delusional. Expected Kukurea to overlap from the left and allow Connor to play in a little bit more of an inside of a channel. What is going on? Why do you ever think that's going to work? Kukurea just looks so off it today because he was asked to do a job that is outrageous. No manager in the Prem's asking a player to do that. And on the right, he put Dezassi at right back when, when actually I thought the whole reason Dezassi ever played right back was because Chalaba wasn't even fit. You know, when we when we got down to the bare bones, for me, Chalabas played at right back. Just play him there. He looks like he's got a better build to play at right back than Dezassi. Dezassi's a unit. It may, It's hard for him to get up and down the pitch. At least Chalaba can do it with a bit more fluidity. But no, Pochettino just doesn't see this stuff. Doesn't look at previous campaigns under different managers to see that Chalaba's played at right back. He's such a mess. Thiago Silva showed his levels today. He returned to the side and was sharp and turned on enough at that corner to score early doors. And I felt like, okay, this is it. We send a message now. It's back on. Europe's back on. No, it couldn't be further from the truth. We look horrific. Jackson, he, he looked off it again today. He doesn't look like... Against Man United, I thought he should have scored today. I don't know what he's offered. I really don't. I'm so confused by whoever felt like the decisions and the planning that we saw for today's game was ever the right option. Because if you put that out to the fans of Chelsea Football Club, there wouldn't have been one person that agreed with this management. And we watched just as much football as Pochettino, if not more. And no one would have said, oh, sounds like a good idea, mate, Conor Gallagher at left wing. Sounds like a good idea setting up against a team like that when this, why would we change when it obviously hasn't worked, when we've struggled against these teams? I think Pochettino's overthinking these games against the worst teams. I think he's trying to do something outrageous. He's so worried about how the other teams set up. Actually, just go there and play your game. And nine times out of 10, these teams are so low on confidence, you're battering. But actually, no, they, they actually believe against Chelsea. Our season's pretty much done. There's nothing to play for. It was shambolic. I hate the fact that this absolute clown... Look, he came out the other day saying he's not a clown. When you do that against Sheffield United, you are. I've got no words for you. I was happy that you showed a bit of passion against Man United. But you are a clown. You're horrific in everything you do, Maurizio Pochettino. You don't deserve... You talked about taking a hit against your reputation... You don't have a good reputation, mate. You're renowned as a bottle job. You don't deserve to be at Chelsea Football Club, whether we like it or not. You don't deserve to be at Chelsea, whether we're under Todd Bowley, whether we're under Roman Abramovich. You're not good enough, mate. You're a joke. It doesn't matter what club you're in charge of. There's a reason Tottenham didn't want you back. Because they knew too well you were riding your luck there. You went to PSG and failed with an ultimate squad. The best of the best that could be built and you failed. So don't give it to me that you've got kids that are inexperienced, mate. Because when you had the best players that are available to you in world football, you underachieved. You are forever the bridesmaid, never the bride. You're a clown. Get out of my club. Clown Lake, do the same, but you're not going anywhere. I know that. So fix up. Because it is unacceptable that you have hired Graham Potter, you sacked Tuchel, you hired Frank Lampard, and you hired Maurizio Pochettino. You're zero for three at the moment in American terms, or 0 and three. It's a shambles, honestly. I can't bear to watch Chelsea Football Club anymore. I, I just don't know what to say. I, I genuinely thought. That enough was enough. And that win against Man United would spur us on. It feels like a loss. It basically is a loss because we can't afford to drop points at this stage of the season. You just can't. There's not enough games left to make it back up. Look, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I, I don't think there's much to say anymore. I think we're all probably potch out at this stage. But if you aren't, convince me otherwise. And if you are, just vent your frustrations. Like I said, 
Drop a like on this video. Let's try and hit 20 likes. Go and show your support to Chelsea content creators all around. Get these videos out there so that the Clear Lake ownership, Blue Co, they hear our voices as Chelsea fans. It's important that that happens because they do listen. I'm almost certain of it. Let's make that happen, Chelsea fans. I will catch you over on Chelsea Fan TV for player ratings. And I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.